beautiful people this is your girl nikki with nikki Seri vegan eats and it has been a minute since i have been back on youtube in my kitchen <laughs> if this is your first time following my channel welcome lovely people be sure to subscribe to my channel and click that notification button below so anytime i drop a new video you will be notified and for all of my returning subscribers hey y'all how y'all doing <laughs> it's good to see y'all well y'all can see me i can't see y'all but you know what i mean all right so let's get to it i'm about to show you guys how to make my vegan oxtails watch closely and i'll see you at the end of the taste test <laughs> okay you guys so the first thing i'm gonna actually put in my food processor are my mushrooms. So these are my brown baby bella mushrooms. And I'm gonna simply just put them in my food processor like so. Please don't fall. <laughs> now if you don't like mushrooms, like two and a half years ago, I really didn't care for mushrooms. I really didn't eat mushrooms. But ever since I went vegan, it's the weirdest thing. I absolutely love eating mushrooms. But I find them as a nice binder for my vegan oxtails. And on top of that, because they're gonna be in the food processor, they're gonna be actually grinded so well that the mushrooms are not intrusive. You can always look for other ups, uh, like other uh, substitutes like chickpeas um, out there or even lentils if you don't like mushrooms or you're allergic to them. Okay, so next I'm gonna actually add me a can of black eyed peas, that's it. And I'm gonna, um, what I did is I actually drank majority of the juice, but I'm just gonna take my can of black eyed peas and put them in as well. This is really gonna serve as a great binder. And you know what, before I actually filmed this episode, I was talking to my grandma on the phone, I was like, grandma, I made some vegan oxtails. And she said, I know, Nikki, your mama showed me. <laughs> my grandma, you guys, uh, she's almost 90 years old. She'll be 90 next year, God willing. And she is a sweetheart and so, and sassy, okay? That's where I get it from. <laughs> but she was like, that's good. You're using mushrooms and black eyed peas because that's gonna be a good binder and the flavors come together, you guys. <laughs> All right, so these are the two ingredients for my uh, vegan oxtails. Now, what I'm gonna do is simply put in three uh, type of seasonings and that's it. So what I have here is this is actually my smoked paprika. Y'all can see that right here. I get this actually from a co-op. Um, in Las Vegas and so I usually buy in bulk for certain seasonings that I'm gonna actually use a lot of. So I'm gonna take about a teaspoon of smoked paprika and just put it in here. I absolutely love buying it from the co-op because of the color. Look at this beautiful color you guys of that smoked paprika. So I'm gonna take this and just simply put in one tablespoon. And this is a recipe that I literally just like actually um, felt myself through. I did see a couple of um, YouTube, um, you know, content creators that made vegan oxtails. I saw one and, um, you know, basically I was looking at the recipe and I was just like, okay. Um, and then I saw another one and the recipe looked really, really good. But I think the content creator kind of lost me on the instructions. I didn't understand and I tried the video. That was my second attempt. I tried to make them and it was a flop. Um, they were mushy and they didn't come out well. So I got frustrated. I went back to the drawing board and I decided to make my own. So you guys are gonna see how I actually bind out my vegan oxtails. So stay tuned. Okay, instead of three ingredients, I forgot I actually did use four ingredients. So I used my smoked paprika and then I have some adobo seasoning right here without uh, pepper. I'm just gonna use a little bit. You can use anything that you like and you can see that I'm sprinkling a little adobo seasoning, just for a little flavor. And because I'm gonna actually be seasoning the top and bottom part of my vegan oxtails in the skillet when they sear together, so I don't wanna overly do it. But I put a tablespoon of smoked paprika to give that color. <laughs> All right, so next I have some all-purpose seasoning, garlic and onion and black pepper and sea salt right here. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of that in as well. See, y'all can see. I'm not there even. Mmm, it just smells so nice and aromatic as well. And last but not least, I'm gonna use some uh, chopped onions. That's what I'm gonna use as well. So, just gonna put a little chopped onions in here. You can know, never go wrong with onions when it comes to like oxtails, y'all. So these are some like dehydrated. I'm gonna put some little, little bit more dehydrated. Uh, chopped onions. Oh, it smells good. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the top on here and I'm gonna go ahead and pulse. All right, let's see, yeah. Go ahead and pulse and here we go. Alright, I think my mixture is actually done you guys. I actually had to hold the top because I forgot to put the covering back on um, right here. So I didn't want it to actually, <laughs> um, you know, have the ingredients like, you know, coming out and everything. Okay, so, mmm, looks good. This is my mixture right here to build out my oxtails. Alright, so stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and use some rice paper to bind them out. And then we're going to put them in the freezer for a couple hours to solidify. <laughs> okay, so now I actually have my hot water right here. You can use like lukewarm or like hot water. And here are my rice papers. So what I'm going to do is just take one out. And y'all actually may hear in the background a little bit of my sink is draining. It's doing some weird things right now. So just block that out if y'all hear that background noise. So I'm going to take my rice paper right here. Here's the water. And I'm going to simply just let it submerge into the hot water. Okay, so we need to make sure that this rice paper uh, wrapper actually softens. So as you can see, I'm simply just submerging it. And I used the same technique when I actually was building out my uh, spring tie rolls back during the summer. So you can see that it's actually a lot more flexible now. And then I'm going to just simply do it on the other side like so. Okay, because we are going to wrap these. Okay. All right, so, and it should be good to go. Yep, only takes a few seconds. Look at that. Can you guys see the difference? All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and build these out. All right, so now I have my rice paper here. I know it's invisible. You guys probably can't see it. I'm going to take my mixture. I'm only going to take a little because you don't want to overstuff the uh, rice paper. If you happen to overstuff it, it will rip, okay? Trust me, through trial and error, <laughs> I learned the hard way. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and spread it like so, okay? All right, y'all can see the mixture right there. So now I'm gonna just simply take, oh, my hair is just like everywhere. Thank goodness I'm not cooking for anybody. And I am not putting any gloves on because I'm cooking for myself and not any customers and when I'm cooking for customers I do have my gloves on but I just took one side and wrapped it like so I'm gonna take the other side and wrap it like so as well okay and simply just roll it out roll it out no real method to my madness as y'all can see it looks like a little sausage I'm gonna take the ends and twist them like so. Look at that, doesn't that look like a sausage link? Come on y'all, give me some credit. Okay, I got creative with this. <laughs> it looks like sausage links. So this is what I have and this is the um, you know inside of it. And I just twist it like so. Now when I put it in the freezer, it's actually going to solidify for a couple hours and it's gonna expand out a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna do this about maybe three or four more times, and then I'm gonna put them in the freezer. All right, lovely. So I went ahead and froze out my vegan oxtails. I put them in the freezer. And one thing I forgot to show you guys when I actually was building them out before I put them in the freezer is I did actually wrap them in wrap, uh, wax paper as well. So um, aside from wrapping in the rice paper, I wrapped them in uh, wax paper to kind of like mold them a little bit. So I let these thaw out a little bit too long. All you have to do is put them in the freezer, I would say for about two to four hours to be able to solidify just enough so that you can cut them. Um, I had to do part two of this video, so I had to film on another day. Same outfit, just try to be consistent throughout the video. So here are my vegan um, oxtails. So I'm just taking them out, the wax paper, like so. Okay. And I think this is good. I mean, I have another one if I need it and I'll, I'll use it. Okay, so now this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually cut them first. So I'm gonna cut them first. 
Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is cut them. I'm gonna cut for about maybe half an inch. Uh, yeah, about half an inch. I want them about right here. I don't want them too big. So I'm just gonna cut it like so. All right, I wanna make sure that you all can see this. This is what it looks like on the inside, all right? With my processed mushrooms as well as my uh, black eyed peas. I'm gonna use that consistency. If you wanna line them up <clears throat> just so that you can kind of measure, you can do like so. So I'm just simply cutting them. I'm just really trying to show you guys just in case you're trying to figure out as far as measurements. Sometimes I'll go off of measurements, especially if I'm inspired by a recipe, sometimes I won't. And this is basically something I'm just kind of going off a of feel. And I've actually made a lot of vegan oxtail plates already. So as you can see, they're kind of like lined up. So what I wanna do is actually use um, like you can use three or four pieces of an oxtail, okay? Um, three or four pieces, and I'm gonna put them together in a minute. So I wanna show you guys something here, okay? All right, so now what I'm gonna do is take that rice paper that I showed you guys earlier, I'm gonna put it in the hot, hot water or lukewarm water of my plate, let it dissolve like so, okay? Do this part real quick here. Okay, it's starting to soften. I wanna make sure you guys don't miss a beat. And you can actually follow if you decide to make these at home, all right? So I want you to see it right before your very own eyes how it's softening. See how that right there, it's kind of like pliable right there. The rice paper, okay. I'm gonna do the second side just for a few seconds and that's good. Now I'm gonna take it out, okay? Okay, take it out. Don't worry about the water, the excess water, water. don't worry about it. Try to be able to stretch out your rice paper like so as much as possible, okay? Don't worry about the excess vegan meat because it's gonna just soak it up anyway, all right? So I'm gonna take this and I already have it laid out. Now I'm gonna build out my oxtail. All right, so now, I did get inspired. I think her name was LaDonna Speaks on YouTube. I'm going to put her name on there. Um, I got inspired by her. She actually used some organic baby carrots. She used the white ones. I thought that was genius to be able to replicate like the bone, the gristle in the middle of your oxtail. Um, I watched her vegan oxtail video. I tried to follow it and I wasn't successful because I felt like I missed some steps. Um, so I decided to basically... Um, get creative and reinvent them of my own uh, using the rice paper. So, but what I did get from her video, um, I think it's LaDonna Speaks or Madonna Speaks. Like I said, I'll drop her tag in my video. Um, I did like how she put the white, berry, uh, white baby carrot. So I'm gonna take my oxtail pieces like so, and I'm just gonna do three. I'm not gonna overkill it. You can do four. But you gotta remember, we're gonna sear this in the pan and we wanna make sure that it cooks down. So I'm gonna put this basically little white carrot in the middle. And as you can see, it's gonna kind of resemble an oxtail. Y'all see that, right? <laughs> so all I'm doing is simply taking it like so, okay? And I'm wrapping the um, combination with the rice paper so we can actually seal it and solidify it. So just try to wrap it as much as you possibly can. You can overlap it. I like to do that because my rice paper is going to actually serve as searing it. It's going to serve as the crust. And then as one of my customers actually described, it actually helped to um, um, give it like that impression that it had like that little fat, if you will. So you can see that this is what it looks like. Um, I have it to the top here. I could have like underlapped it so you guys can see it. Let me try that in the next one. So I'm gonna fast forward this next uh, demonstration for you guys, all right? All right, so I have my oxtails. Now, this is what I'm working with. I decided to make three, okay? So this is like 
first one and then I have the second one it's slightly ripped but it's okay okay and then I have the third one okay now one thing about oxtails as you may already know is that they're never perfect when they're cut anyway so you want that consistency so it's okay that my oxtails are like you know different sizes all right so now I'm gonna take them to my cast iron skillet go ahead and pan sear them put some seasonings on and then build out my gravy you guys and bring this video home to y'all <laughs> All right, lovelies, I'm gonna add one to two tablespoons of olive oil. In addition, I'm gonna add my vegan oxtails to my cast iron skillet as I want them to sear nice and crispy on both sides for a nice crusty surface. And then I'm gonna allow them to cook very well. I'm gonna add some smoked paprika, adobo seasoning, as well as some garlic salt, all purpose seasoning, and some dried parsley just for some added flavor. Once your vegan oxtails are nicely brown on one side, simply turn them over. And repeat out the process and season them again. <laughs> I like to place a lid over my oxtails to allow the heat to be able to absorb all the moisture and to cook inside of the vegan oxtails so they're not mushy. I'm gonna take some minced garlic and add it for some added flavor. You guys, look at those delicious looking vegan oxtails. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And remember that nicely seared, brown, crusted sides that I said I want to achieve? Well, it looks like I'm eating some steak, but it's not, you guys. <laughs> Add me some chopped onions for extra flavor on top of my vegan oxtails. I'm gonna let them caramelize down, and then I'm gonna add me some red, orange, and yellow peppers. These are not spicy at all. I'm gonna allow my onions and peppers to simply cook out into my vegan oxtails. Then I'm gonna add me some non-beef broth to my vegan oxtails so my oxtails do not actually stick to the pan. And then I'm gonna dress them up with some green scallions and dried parsley. So to build out my gravy for my oxtails, I'm gonna take some non-beet broth as well as some veggie broth. This is what I had left over in my refrigerator, you guys, but you can use whatever you have. <laughs> I'm gonna take some non-beef bouillon cubes, and I actually just took one, but you can use two if you like. I'm simply gonna just take a spoon and blend it out well until the bouillon cube actually disseminates into the gravy. Then I'm gonna take one pack of Lipton onion mix. Now this is actually vegan based off of the research that I've actually looked into. It actually says that it's vegan, vegan, vegan. <laughs> and I love it. All right, you guys, it's been a minute, but I can't say that word, Worcestershire sauce or whatever it's called, so it's the W sauce for me. <laughs> Some oxtail marinade. I got this from one of my African Caribbean stores in Vegas. I'm gonna take a little A1 sauce as well. Just a little bit, don't want to overkill with the flavor. Add me about a half to one cup of water to dilute the flavor of all of the sauces that I'm blending together. And then I'm simply going to add sprinkles of flour to be able to thicken out my gravy just a little. You can also use cornstarch if you choose to. Now I'm gonna take that delicious looking gravy and add it to my vegan oxtails to submerge it like so. Look at the bubbly, you guys. 
And then you can just simply dress up your vegan oxtails with your favorite ingredients. For me, it would be my carrots. I ran out of navy beans, but I would prefer them over black eyed peas, but the black eyed peas were bust into. I like that word, you guys. <laughs> Went ahead and added me some shredded cabbage, some sliced red peppers, green scallions, you guys. Ooh, look at the colors, and some bay leaves. All right, you guys, so this is a bonus demonstration. I'm simply showing you how to make my famous sauteed cabbage and kale medley that I make for my customers by adding some no chicken broth, as well as I had some leftover cabbage and some fresh kale. Take me some red peppers and chopped onions and add me a little smoked paprika, adobo seasoning, garlic salt, all-purpose seasoning. You can simply add whatever you have adding some minced garlic, green scallions, and some dry parsley. That's it. Look how colorful it looks. <laughs> and it's so simple, but the flavors come together and my customers love it. And there you have it. Voila. <laughs> And lovelies, there you have it. I have vegan oxtails. Oh my gosh. Y'all, look at my oxtail. I'm just saying oxtail singular because my other vegan oxtails, they hanging out in the cast iron skillet. I have a vegan oxtail. I have some leftover jollof rice, you guys. Um, I actually have a an episode that I actually created. I think it was season one or two for a Nigerian dish. So you'll be able to see the recipe for that. And then I have my sauteed cabbage. All right, it is time to go in. Oh, but before I do that, I gotta do my thumbnail. Let me take y'all on the ride with me with my thumbnail, okay? <laughs> okay, you guys, now that I got my thumbnails out the way, let's get it in. All right, these are my vegan oxtails that I actually have been selling throughout the month of December. All right, processed mushrooms and black eyed peas. Here we go, y'all. All right. Got me some of the oxtails right here with some jollof rice. Oh my gosh! Here we go. Oh my gosh. The flavor. The flavor, y'all. This is what the inside of my oxtails look like. Delicious, okay? It's the texture on the inside is slightly soft. It's not mushy. The outside has a crispiness, a, a light crispiness from when I seared it in the skillet. Okay, and then I, of course, put my gravy on top. Y'all see this? The flavor is amazing. Mmm. 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 Y'all miss me saying that? Mmm. <laughs> so freaking good. Oh my gosh. Mmm. And this is such a colorful plate, too. We got me some sauteed cabbage here. With kale. A cabbage and kale medley. This is absolutely amazing, guys. Mmm. I cannot stop eating this. I know most of the country right now is supposed to be going through some type of Arctic freeze or some type of, I'm experiencing some type of blizzard weather throughout the United States. And I'm trying to tell y'all, this is where it's at. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm so satisfied. Mmm. And I'm so glad that all my customers have been satisfied with my vegan oxtails as well. Delicious. I'm gonna finish this dish. I got me some Reed's Premium Ginger Beer right here. I know you're like, why are you making a Jamaican dish or a Caribbean dish <laughs> in December? I don't know, it just happened. I've been trying to make these vegan oxtails since last year. And this was my third time, you guys, because I failed the first two times. You know what they say, three times a charm. <laughs> Yum. All right, lovelies. So. If you have enjoyed this episode of Nikki Savory Vegan Eats, be sure to like, comment, and share. Engage. 
leave a comment you guys i work really hard at my videos for you all okay i hope you appreciate them and also just make sure that you are watching the videos so that it can tap into youtube's algorithm so your girl can go ahead and monetize all right <laughs> now for those of you who actually want to stay tuned to my international travels from october and november i have not forgotten i gotta pick up from where i left off i'm gonna be adding more new videos um, as well as all my lovely friends, I'm going to be actually dropping you all and it's nice to talk to some to some of you on Instagram. Uh, stay tuned. I have a schedule full of new episodes that I'm going to be creating after the new year, you guys. Your girl came back from Europe and I was just really, really busy with a lot of different projects. I was productive. I got them all done. And I was cooking for my customers. And I got some new customers, y'all. So y'all keep sharing, spreading the love. And if you celebrate the, happy, the holidays, then have a happy holiday and happy new year. And I will see you guys next year, 2023. God willing. Take care. Be blessed. Bye. <laughs>